Chase Lujaki, Blue Futon. We are going in the box with. Mm, Chronico? 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 It is a horror film fable based in Japan, Criteria Collection, 1968. Have I seen it? No. But maybe we'll go watch Chronico, Chronico. Don't know how to pronounce it. But I'll let you know if this is a good horror fable from Japan. <laughs> So I just got done watching Chronicle. What's it about? What's well, a simple Japanese horror love story where a son kind of gets taken for war to become a samurai. In the meantime, his wife and mother get brutally murdered and raped. And with this, they have to come back to life because a demon cat said so. I really don't know. But with this, they need to kill every single samurai and drink their blood. But the problem is the son comes back and he rekindles his love with his wife. And doing so, sends her to eternal hell and the mother does not want to. She does not want to go to hell. She wants to stay on earth and kill all samurais. But the problem is her son is a samurai. So, dilemma, what to do in that scenario. It's a pretty simple story actually, and it's told very well. I mean, I love how the story is actually told, and that's really one of the positives of the movie is the camera scopes like it's a play. The spotlight shines on people and they kind of do a scene and they move across the scene. And there's bamboo in the front and back as well as fog and good background, and it's very, I love how it's shot. That's what I'm gonna say the very positive is like, it's a play, it's like a Romeo and Juliet, not really, I don't know why, but it's kind of a Romeo and Juliet-esque, like love story, but it is told so beautifully, and with the black and white, and the interesting makeup of like the cat eyes, because there are cat demons in this. I know it's kind of funny, cat demon? Really? I'm pretty sure there's a really old movie called Cat People, and also a Criterion Collection as well, which I have not seen that, but this is a Japan horror fable, and I enjoy it for what it was. It was an hour and 40 minutes. It went by actually pretty quick. The characters are believable. The love scenes are believable. The love connections believable. And the fighting scenes are also kind of interesting with a horror spin. But that's one of the biggest negatives is the editing of how they had to get everything shot. For example, there's a scene at the very end where the mother's kind of like attacking the son. And there's a lot of different... I move my hair a lot. There's a lot of different like editing of her going across the ceiling. And it looks kind of interesting of like to kind of do a cut edit kind of thing. Because I mean that's what they had back in the day in the 60s. And there's one scene where she kind of goes to the roof with some wire work. And there are also some kind of funny like flips in the air that kind of doesn't make sense. Like when they're walking through the woods. There's a scene where she's like flipping over pedals and they're always doing front flips. I don't know why. I mean maybe they're acrobatic cat demons that just want to, you know, do some front flips. For the heck of it. But there are, there, I mean, it's a great movie in my opinion. It's a great horror story. It's a great just tale of revenge, if you want to put it. It is a revenge story, but revenge with love. And will you actually go to hell for eternity to just have a couple more days with the person you love? So, Kronikou, Kronikou, Kiku, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I recommend this movie. But I do recommend buying it at Barnes and Nobles when it is July or November when all the Criterion Collections are 50% off. So good, great story, love how it looks, love how it's shot, it's very unique, and I personally have not seen another movie like this. And this came out in 68, guys. Bad, some editing choices of, you know, kind of weird cut edits of people flying on the ceiling. But what do you expect is kind of a 60s movie, very low budget, but it is pretty sweet. Chronicle, Chronicle? Chronicle, Koku, Koku, I don't know. We'll see a four out of five from Futons, which it was at 80%. So see the critic review scores gave this movie. So you do have the critics a 95% and the user scores a 64% and there was no critic consensus. I'm not a fan of this new Rotten Tomatoes as you can see when you go on the phone. It really doesn't look that good. I mean there is no positive they actually get the user scores now so 838, 20 critics. But you know how Captain Marvel kind of changed this. I mean people say the trolls could have changed it but Let's be honest, it was Captain Marvel. They were getting butt hurt, getting 20%. Because so they're like, oh, it doesn't really matter, but it does matter. And really, let's just, let's just grow up, people. Let's grow up. And I'm talking to the big companies out there, like Marvel. Come on now. Come on. Wind outside is pretty crazy. But have you seen Chronicle? Chronico? I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's a really interesting, I'm going to call it a fun watch, but it's an interesting watch of how movies were made back in the day. Well, not really this one, but other movies, they kind of talk slow and they open their mouth. Like I had the problem doing but nowadays everyone's talking fast, like the Vince Vaughn kind of. But hey, have you seen it? Do you agree with the 95 or the 84 or the 80? 
Chase Jack the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the Blue Futon Utopia. Get Blue Futonians. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. And I hope to watch more of these Criterion Collections because I read some of them, and like, oh, this looks interesting. But some of them, there's like, it doesn't look interesting. It looks kind of boring. But that's a good thing about Criterion. You get to watch movies you probably would never think you'd watch in your entire life. Stay classy, people. <laughs>